good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Birmingham. We love you, Birmingham. Yes, we love you. All right, great. We're going to have our invocation by Dr. Brown, uh, and uh, we'll have our Pledge of Allegiance by Councilor John Hillier. If everyone could please stand. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we come before your presence now in the most humble way that we know how with bow down heads and humble hearts. We come this morning, O oh God, because we realize that help can be found in heaven. And we pray for heaven's power in this situation. We realize, O oh God, that you are the author and the finisher of our faith, that you hold this whole situation in the palm of your hand. So we pray now, God, for wisdom in the chamber. As we go forward, Master, we pray for divine guidance. For you told us to trust in the Lord with all our heart. Lean not to our understanding, for in all our ways acknowledge you, and you would direct. So we pray for divine direction this morning. Uh, Will we run short, God? We pray, O oh God, that you would strengthen us. O oh God, we pray now for every person that's under the sound of my voice that they may come to know and understand that you are the one with the power. And we pray, God, that you use that power, God, to help us to get through a pandemic. We realize that you told us in your word that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, that you would heal the land. So I pray for healing in every corner, every, every place, every, every body, every business. We pray for healing over our city right now, God, in the name of Jesus. For we realize, oh God, that we're in a predicament that we don't know the answer to. But we know that you have all the answers. So I pray now, God, that you would share that with us today. You told us that we pray, God, that you would give us wisdom liberally. So we pray for the kind of wisdom that Solomon had. Oh God, we pray for Solomon's wisdom over this situation that we might be able to, to do it the way you called us to. And that, but that, God, when you do that, I said, when you do that, God, we're going to give you all the honor, and we're going to give you all the glory, and we're going to give you all the praise. For it is in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus that we do pray. And all the people who love God say it, amen. Thank you, uh, Reverend Brown. Thank you, Reverend Brown. Mr. Clark. All right. Good morning. Call the roll. Good morning. Council President Pro Tem Alexander. Present. Council Member Hillier. Present. Council Member Hoyt. Council Member O'Quinn. Present. Council Member Smitherman. Good morning. Good morning. Council Member Williams. Council Member Woods. Council Member Abbott. President Parker. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Uh, need approval of the uh, minutes. So moved. Okay. All right, you got um, Council Member Alexander and Smitherman. All right, voting should be open for a minute. Council Member Alexander, how would you like to vote? Aye. Uh, Council Member Hillier? Aye. Council Member O'Quinn? Aye. Council Member Parr, President Aye. Parr. And Council Member Smitherman? Aye. All right, that vote should be open. Okay. All right, that uh, item passes for the minutes. Councilor Smithman, did you have some comments you wanted to make? Uh, yes, last week, uh, former city councilor Pat Alexander passed away. She was the city councilor for District 6 before my mom, Judge Carol Smithman. So I would like to pass a resolution honoring Pat Alexander. Second. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 All opposed, that's for you. See, now I need to add the, the item. item. Second. Second. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 All opposed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Councilor Smithman and uh, former Councilor Alexander will be missed uh, here at the city of Birmingham. Uh, just two quick things, Mr. Mayor, before we call you up. Councilor O'Quinn, you've got some work to do now, uh, a lot of work uh, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, Dr. Herring um, leaving, and we want to certainly wish her well and also um, 
CEO uh, Angela Taylor from the Civil Rights Institute. So we want to wish uh, both of them well in their future endeavors. And so uh, we appreciate their commitment to the city of Birmingham. So, um, so anyway, with that, good morning, Councilor. How you doing? You ready? Okay. All right. Cool. We're gonna give the mayor a few minutes to uh, finish up on a couple of, of uh, com couple of meetings in the side he's having. So let's do the consent agenda uh, real quick. All right, the Senate agenda starts on page, uh, looks like five with item 14, then page six with item 16, concludes with item 16 on page six. Um, I guess it's just, if we could put items three through um, through uh, 13 on consent, if that's okay with everybody. All right, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Pre yeah, item 17, I thought that was always. Okay, we could add that one as well. So is everybody good with that? And we'll just deal with items one and two, okay. You have 15 to deal with. It's on page six. Okay, 15. item 15 as well. I'm sorry. All right. All right, All good. Right. We're good. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. All right, give me one second here so I can click on all those items. Yeah, we did. Yes, ma'am. We did item 15, yeah. So we'll just have one and two before us. Almost there. President Pro Tem Alexander and Smitherman again? Yes, I have. That'll do. Okay. All right. And voting should be open for consent agenda. Might have to do it. Might have just. It's not keyed up. So okay. Council Member Alexander. Aye. Uh, hear you. Council right. Member, hear you. Council Member O'Quinn. Aye. Council Member President Parker. Yes. Council Member Smitherman. Aye. And Council Member Abbott. All right, that vote should be up. Okay, that uh, the consent agenda passes uh, first item, Mr. Clark. Oh, I missed that up. Okay, should be item one. Okay. In ordinance to authorize the mayor to execute a contract for sale of real estate with Build Urban Prosperity, on which Build Urban Prosperity will purchase city-owned property located at 527 5th Street North, Birmingham, for the fair market value purchase price of $4,100 for the development of an affordable detached single-family residence. And I need UC, if we're going to pass it today, I need UC. Move the item. Second. All right, uh, I'll just do it quick for you. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 All opposed, now I need a motion on the item. Let's do the item. Uh, Second. Second. Item is before you. Councilor Abbott. This was an item that was approved by the All right, do we, uh, as far as I yeah. know, there was no <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, you have to open it. Okay. All right, we're ready. All right. To vote. Uh, Council Member Alexander. Aye. Council Member Hugh. Aye. Council Member O'Quinn. Aye. Uh, Council President Pro Tem Park. I mean, President Park, I'm sorry. Aye. My bad. Uh, Council Member Abbott. Smithman, thank you. That vote should be up. All right, that item passes. Next right. item. Should be it. item two, uh, same thing, permanent operation. The ordinance authorizing the mayor to execute a contract for sale of real estate with L. Williams and Associates, LLC, under which L. Williams and Associates, LLC, will purchase city-owned property adjacent to an apartment complex located at 125 Kappa Avenue, Birmingham, for a fair market value purchase price of $2,700 on the UC to pass it today. Move the item. Second. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 All opposed, motion on the item. I move the item. Second. All right, item is before you. Councilor Abbott. Same thing here. Uh, this is city-owned property, and if somebody wants to buy it, and we're buying it. Okay. All right. Any questions? We're ready to vote. Mr. All right. Clark. Uh, Council Member Alexander. Aye. Council Member Hill. Aye. Council Member O'Quinn. 
Council President Parker? Yes. Council Member Smitherman? Aye. Council Member Abbott? Aye. That vote should be up. Okay, that item passes. Okay, great. Mr. Mayor? Good morning. Good morning, Mr. President. Uh, good morning to the council. Uh, just some brief notes. Um, one is I want to talk about um, our residents who are engaging and calling 911. Um, like many of our first responders, the Birmingham Fire and Rescue officials are on the front lines every day, and I want to thank them for their hard work. Um, they're, of course, um, their job is designed to help the public with a variety of issues. Um, but as we continue to deal with the COVID-19, I want to remind our residents how important it is to provide accurate medical information when calling 911. Um, the first thing I want to do is encourage our residents to provide as much correct information as possible when calling for and or needing medical assistance. Uh, by doing this, this will help our medical responders adequately prepare in their response to you and your loved ones. I think the short version of this is what I'm trying to say is please be truthful when calling 911 about your ailments or whatever your conditions are. If you're feeling sick, if you feel you have COVID-19 symptoms, if you have a high fever or anything else, please tell the 911 operator that. Giving accurate information not only helps protect you, but it also protects the paramedics and our hospital partners and lets them know in advance if they'll need to wear appropriate personal protective equipment, also known as PPE. Um, we wanna encourage our residents, please don't feel that you have to hide um, your ailments or your condition when you're calling 911. Our first responders are here to serve you and want to serve you in the best way possible. To do that, it's gonna be really important that they have the correct information from the start. So I wanna thank our residents for complying with that and adhering to that. Second note, Mr. President and Council, is we know that COVID-19 has severely impacted different organizations at this time. This includes food banks. Because area food banks are running low on donations, the Birmingham Police Department has started a food drive. Between now and April 30th, over the next nine days, you may drop off canned goods and non-perishable items at any Birmingham Police Precinct. Again, between now and April 30th, you may drop off any canned goods and non-perishable items at any Birmingham police precinct, the city jail or the police headquarters on First Avenue North. If you have any questions about this initiative, please call and or contact Captain Janice Blackwell. Captain Blackwell phone number is 205-933-4175. Again, Captain Janice Blackwell Number is 205-933-4175. Just a couple more notes. Um, I know that many of you have been following the city's shelter in place order to help stop the spread of the COVID-19. But staying at home for weeks, doing the same thing, I know for many of us can be very hard. I get it. I think this council gets it as well. As gets it as well. And this is why my office, along with some Partners have created the Stay at Home Family Activity Guide, which can be found at birminghamal.gov slash stay at home. Again, that's birminghamal.gov slash stay at home. On this Stay at Home Family Activity Guide, you'll find suggestions for daily activities, suggested schedules, as well as resources. We're offering this guide as a way to give you the public new ways in making the best of your time at home. This guide is for all ages, from children to our seniors, and it covers recreation, technology, personal and professional development, education, and entertainment. And I hope you find it helpful. Again, that's birminghamal.gov slash stay at home. One last note that Council President Parker has already mentioned. Many of you all already know about the news. Um, reported that Superintendent Dr. Lisa Herring has been named the sole finalist for superintendent of Atlanta Public Schools. Uh, now for me, I consider Dr. Heron a friend and a peer um, in leading change at the Birmingham City School System. Um, if I'm being honest, it kind of saddens me that she's departing. Um, I think part of that is based on we were beginning to see some kind of progress as it relates to success and hope 
for Birmingham City Schools. Um, having had an opportunity to work with her over these last few years, um, she embodies a rare mix, uh, what I define as high intellect, um, empathy, and extreme vision for success. But I know with that type of success, um, attracts opportunity, and she has an opportunity before her. I think um, what I want to share with this body is that she set a new standard for the type of leader our students deserve. And I want to wish my friend the best. Uh, Mr. President, that concludes the mayor's report. All right, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, if there are any questions, I will let everybody know. Um, we'll committee to hold the schedule for tomorrow uh, afternoon at 3.30, uh, so we can take up a couple of items that I think are will be important. Uh, yeah, we'll have it in here. Uh, so I think there are a couple items of, of importance that we will probably need to meet about, uh, and you'll be getting that, uh, the, uh, the itinerary and agenda, uh, probably within the next hour or so. And if it's something we need to add to it, we can, but anyway, so I just want to bring that to everyone's attention. Um, anybody have any questions, comments on anything? And yes, ma'am, tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Everybody good with everything? Any questions, anything? Okay. Council Williams, you have a motion? Second. Second. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 All opposed. All right. Thank you, everyone. Be safe.